Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. Today's topic is going to be you are stronger than you know. Think about that for a minute, guys. If you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share. So the thumbnail is self-explanatory. You are stronger than you know, and yes, you are if you're on the channel. Getting the wisdom, getting the education on the narcissistic abuse of cycle and so many other life skills, life tools, and education. Again, thank you very much for being here. You're stronger than you know because the number one reason for this video is because most likely you did experience the narcissistic abusive relationship. Perhaps it's ending now, perhaps it ended recently or years ago. Point is you have now become a member of the tribe. You've now gone through the fire and or you are going through the fire. You are healing or healed or have healed and you've experienced something that not that many people experience firsthand. Yes, there are many narcissistic individuals on the planet, but not everyone gets as close to an individual that has nar narcissistic characteristics, narcissistic characteristics as you do. And perhaps they weren't in a relationship as close as you were. And here you are getting the wisdom, getting the education, becoming awakened and aware. And I can assure you, you've been tested many, many times throughout life. And the most recent test most likely was the narcissistic abusive relationship that you have now exited my hope is you were not discarded, but like many of us, perhaps most likely you were, and then you had to find channels like mine and many others, and again, thank you very much for being here, to get the knowledge, to get the education, because you had the craving, you had to understand what relationship you were just in, and to do that alone proves that you are stronger than you know. You see, many people go through the narcissistic relationship in the fog, they don't get the wisdom, they sincerely don't. They're just caught and trapped in that zombie-like state, and they can't find a way out of it. Then there are people like you who are digging in deep and craving the knowledge and sharing your experiences, your wisdom and your, your insight with the community. And you're healing, you're learning, you're growing, you're teaching if you can. Keep in mind, you're stronger than you know. That's, that's completely true because there are people that endure the narcissistic relationship that don't come through the other end, if you get my point. You have, or you're doing it. And with your commitment and resilience, and strength and courage, you will get there if you haven't already. You see, post-narcissistic relationship, this is a test unlike anything you've ever experienced. You have not prepared for it. You weren't taught narcissism in school, so you did not, and or perhaps even right now as you're watching the video, you do not have the tools. You're getting them right now. You're understanding that there are people like you. You are not alone. You are one of literally billions of us. Yes, I do mean billions with a capital B because there are eight billion people on the planet and trust me when I say it, a quarter of the people have experienced this. They, they may not know that they've experienced it, but they have, and I would actually venture there's more than that. But having said that, think of all the challenges you've faced in life. Perhaps your childhood was difficult. Perhaps your schooling wasn't the best. Perhaps you had to learn multiple languages and that was a struggle. Perhaps you had to move different locations. Numerous times the family had to move to different states or countries. Perhaps you had to jump into different school systems for various reasons. Perhaps you got in trouble when you were younger. There are a litany of things that could have happened to you. And then lo and behold, just when you thought things were going well, boom, you enter a narcissistic relationship and here you are. Now this, like I said, this is something you weren't prepared for. And the narcissist, again, they knew what they saw in you. Perhaps they saw things in you you couldn't see in yourself. In other words, your empathy, your love, your kindness, your intelligence, your beauty, your tolerance, your patience, your ability to be there for them, your ability to be a sounding board. Perhaps you had financial resources. Perhaps it was your social circle. Perhaps it was your beach houses. Perhaps it was your anything you offered or anything you had. These were your resources and the narcissist saw these things. Perhaps it was your work ethic in the business workplace. Remember, there are many people in the workforce that believe, sincerely believe that the harder they work and the more hours they put in, that the better chance they have of getting a promotion or pay raise or that corner office Unfortunately, that's completely not true. The business relationship many times is contingent upon who your friend is, if the boss likes you, non-tangible factors like that. Trust me when I say it, especially now in these days, it's not the way it used to be, it's just not. It's the buddy system many times, not always, but many times. That's why in the workplace, narcissism is tolerated. Many times the boss and or the owner of a company could be a narcissist, who knows? I'm not saying everybody's like that way, but remember the narcissist doesn't love people 
doesn't have empathy. That's why they can rule with an iron fist because they flat out don't care. Really get that message. So why I'm saying this is you're stronger than you know because you've been tested throughout life. And my, um, my supposition is you're being tested right now as you're watching this video. Maybe right now, as an example, let's put narcissism to the side. Maybe you're going for a walk as you're listening to this or watching this video and you're saying to yourself, wow, I should quit. I already went for one mile. And you're saying, no, I can go. I can do another. I can go for a second mile. I can do this. See, you're stronger than you know. Push through it. The idea in life is to become better than you were the day before. And yes, you will have setbacks. Yes, there will be things that you can't control. And yet, yes, there will be hurdles you will have to overcome. The narcissistic abusive cycle certainly is one of those. You didn't prepare for it. You didn't know. If you knew that you were getting involved with the narcissist, you would have said thank you. But no, thank you. Please sink your dirty fangs into another individual. But I don't care for this. But you didn't know. And remember, the narcissist wore a mask. They manipulate you, manipulated you. They tricked you. They trapped you. And when it was too late and when you were already in the devaluation stage entering the narcissistic fog you didn't know what was going on you didn't know what was up or down what you knew is you were working for the narcissist more and more and you were depleting your resources while you were enhancing their lifestyle it's true it's the way they thrive remember the narcissist has multiple sources of supply it wasn't just you no matter what you think it really wasn't they have sources of supply in the workplace sources of supply wherever they go sources of supply in airplanes, jobs, wherever it is, there's always sources of supply. Now, you may have been in a special relationship with the narcissist, perhaps you were even married, or maybe it's your sibling, who knows, maybe it's a loved one, I, I can't tell you who it is, but believe me when I tell you, it's not just you, there are multiple sources of supply, but you are stronger than you know. Think about it, think about where you were, say six months ago, are you, are you in a better position than you are today, right now? I think that you're in a better position today. Wouldn't you have to agree with that? Yeah, because you've most likely made progress and you've done things to benefit you. Perhaps you learned how to put up boundaries. Perhaps you learned how to say the magic word no. Perhaps you stopped saying yes to everybody and stopped being a people pleaser. Maybe you ended the relationship yourself. Maybe you quit the job and took on a new job. Maybe you started a business. Maybe you moved locations. Maybe you created a website. Who knows what you've done, but I can assure you, you are not the same person you were six months ago and you're definitely not the same person you were yesterday. You're stronger than you know. You need to give yourself credit and understand that when you were in the relationship with the narcissist, they had one task at hand, which was to basically to demolish you and pulverize you and take your resources and throw you away. That's exactly what their goal is. That's what they're doing right now, wherever they are on the planet. That's exactly how they live. That's why they have no long-term relationships and they blow up every relationship they get involved with. It doesn't matter who it is. All narcissistic relationships have an expiration date. They really do. And if you understand that and you understand where you are right now, my hope is you're in a better position than you were months ago. And my hope is that you'll be in a better position tomorrow than you are today. But how do you get there? By continuing to persevere, continuing to move forward, continuing to spend your time wisely, continuing to invest in yourself and to close the chapter on the narcissist and all the flying monkeys and people associated with the narcissist. I know sometimes it's easier said than done, I get it. But think about how you feel now, if you are post-narcissistic relationship, to when you were in the relationship, when you were being gaslit, when you were being stonewalled, when the smear campaign was underway, when you had no money, when you didn't have a support system, when people disappeared on you, when you were left in the dark, when you were sending texts and you were getting no replies, when you were being experiencing rage fits, the list goes on and on. And now, where are you? My belief, my hope is that you're in a better spot. You can get some rest, you can recharge your battery. You can start a business, you can make new friendships, you can travel, you can create a business, whatever you wanna do, but you're stronger than you know. I can assure you, you are, and you will be tested. Just like you were tested in the narcissistic relationship, you will have more tests coming your way because life isn't linear. Just like the narcissistic healing path, post-narcissistic relationship, it, it isn't linear. The healing path isn't. You'll have good days, not so good days, just like in life. Sometimes you have great days, some, day, some days you don't have the best days, but the point is, is you take from every experience that you have and you learn from them, everything, and you celebrate the wins. And you have, if you have some not so good days, you learn from them and you don't replicate them or duplicate them. And you need to be honest and authentic with yourself, something the narcissist isn't with themselves. Remember, you are in charge of your path now. When you were with the narcissist, you thought you were, you weren't. You lost your identity. You became an extension of the narcissist and you did what they wanted you to do for the period of time. I'm certain it happened. 
and then you became awakened and you're becoming aware and you're understanding, oh my gosh, like what was this? I, what, who was that person? That wasn't me. You're right, because you were in a zombie-like trance state called the narcissistic fog and now you're not. At least that's my hope. But you're stronger than you think, believe me. Remember, I, I mentioned this to you a couple times, videos, a couple videos ago, I don't know, a couple months ago, that when you, just when you feel like quitting anything, that's when you need to dig in deep and not quit. Because the world, honestly, is full of quitters. The world is full of people that said, wow, woulda, coulda, shoulda. The world is full of, full of people that claim that they could have done X, Y, and Z, but they never really gave it the best effort. The world is full of people that actually don't dig in deep and don't want to improve themselves. It's true. It's not doom and gloom. It's just the way it is. Many people are just comfortable living in the everyday fog, doing what they do. It's fine. I get it. Live your life. Do what you want. But then again, understand this part of the message. Many people don't experience the toxic narcissistic relationship the way you did. You have to heal. There's no other way. You have to improve. You have to understand your worth and you have to do it all by yourself. Meaning I can educate you as much as possible. You can read all the books. You can talk to all the therapists. You can do whatever you want to, but you ultimately have to heal yourself. It's true because you have to take the proper actions to get from where you were to where you want to be. It's just the way it works. It's exactly what I had to do. And that's what you will do. So just when you think about quitting or just when you think about giving up or just when you think that you're losing hope, don't. You're stronger than you know. I'm living proof and you will be too or you already are. And drop your comments below. Trust me when I tell you, imagine if you're running a marathon and you're a kilometer away from crossing the finish line and you, all your bones are aching, your shoes are, are tore up, the laces are falling apart and you're like, I can't do this, it's just too much pain. And then that one runner kind of runs up side to, side to you and says, you can do it. You have one more kilometer. You can do it. I know you can. I know you're in pain. I'll run with you. You can do it. And guess what happens? You cross that finish line. And when you cross the finish line, your shoes are tore up. Perhaps you have a couple calluses. You're dehydrated. You're not sure what's going on. Your head's spinning. But guess what? You did it. And then you look over at that runner and you say, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You, Without you, I couldn't have done it. That's the purpose of this channel. That's the purpose of us being together. Guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great afternoon. Stay true. Stay blessed. Continue to become educated and awakened. And understand that you are the priority. You come first, second, and third. And you are stronger than you know. I can assure you, if you've made it this far in the video, you're super strong. Never quit on yourself. Never stop. Always become the best version of yourself possible. And believe in yourself each and every day. No matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. I love you. God bless you. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a great afternoon. Stay true. I love you. Bye.